Big exciting news tonight as a second stimulus deal will be announced likely in the next 48 hours. But Purple Power, boy, this is a time in which you have to refocus because two things are really at issue here. One, you need to do executive orders because ultimately this deal may not turn into law and may not turn into anything in your hand and may ultimately be a dog and pony show. Yes, I'm the one that's going to say that to you. Second, there's a real push underway to understand that the purple power needs to step up. I'm making very clear in tonight's recordings that ultimately when the deal is announced, if it is in 48 hours, you may look at the deal provisions with me and say, what the hell is this junk? I don't like this. What is this? And what's important to understand is that the deal is not law. The deal is just an offer. It's just a deal. And that ultimately it has to be put to a vote. Well, it's far before that time that we're going to make very clear we're the purple power and we don't accept this junk. This is how we do it. This is how we push. And this is Purple Power. Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm here, you're here, you're all dog or alpaca, and I have um, another lizard that watches this channel. Uh, needless to say, Nancy Pelosi may be passing out peanuts in 48 hours, so all my cats and dogs might get hungry. Um, but for the rest of us, we don't want peanuts, we want stimulus checks. Thank you for joining me on a night in which this channel has now reached 300,000 subscribers, and we reach it for a reason. I'm here to get you money, and I'm here to ensure that you get the amount of money that you're owed, not to just read a lot of reports about the small amount of money that someone's trying to give you or not tell you that they're trying to give you. Go to the front of the channel, subscribe. Subscribe because in this recording tonight, I'm going to go over with you how you have to be pre-warned and pre-prepared on how to deal with a bad deal offer being shoved in your face potentially in the next 48 hours. Also like this video. In the next 48 hours, in this video, I'm going to go over why um, <clears throat> you need to focus on a single group of pushes because the purple power has to push first you have the push versus the de deal purple power versus deal push 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 second purple power versus mitch push 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 third purple power versus new congress push 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 purple power versus executive and, ex and executive orders push 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 and finally seats for stimulus all right let's get to the breaking news the breaking news is that purple power versus deal may ultimately be the biggest push of the purple power come 48 hours from now. In 48 hours from now, the two temples of gloom and gl and gluttony, <laughs> I guess that's a new term from the uh will be potentially announcing a deal. And the deal will be just that, a deal. It's not a law. It's like, I like you and you like me and let's go up in a tree. It's just, that's all it's going to be. And ultimately, when you sit back and you pull up your cup of coffee and you put up your feed and the toast is toasting if it's in the morning and the butter's buttering you may look at the deal items like me and say what is this junk who did th who did you write this who wrote this and you say what this is a uh, what this is horrible and then that will then prepare us for the next push but rather than wait to that moment i'm preparing you for that tonight because I fully believe it's going to happen. I fully believe that when we see the second stimulus package in 48 hours from now, if there is a deal, it's going to be crap. <laughs> I'm not going to mince my words. I have a feeling it's just going to be crap. These people have not given us numbers. And literally, as we sit here tonight, they're saying, hey, congratulations, we're almost near a deal. And we're finally kissing, kiss, kissing the virus, crushing the virus, making out with the virus. We're crushing the virus. We're crushing the virus. And, you know, and we're ready for the no Her new line is, I'm ready to send out your November rent. Uh, you know, this is October 20th. I don't think you have enough time to give me my October. And what uh, uh, What are you talking about? Uh, her, She's ready to send out your November rent. Well, the truth of the matter is you may look at the deal and you're like, well, how about my October rent? And how about my September rent? And how about my July rent? What is this? 
And that's why Purple Power has to push. What is a, a valid contention to be pushing against? In my opinion is if, a, if you see a single stimulus check for twelve hundred dollars, that's I, I can't even say the number anymore because I think it's just so. I was about to curse. Uh, it starts with ASS and ends with something else. Uh, it's just incredulous to think that you're going to give Americans who have been suffering since March a mere $1,200 for six months and call it a stimulus? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Reject. Reject. <clears throat> now, how about if it's larger? What if it's $2,000? Just one check for $2,000. Uh... No, we're not going to accept that. Now, let me make something very clear to you. A lot of viewers need every penny that they can get. And when we, when I say the words reject or not accept, what I mean is we're going to demand more money. The phrasing will be a more positive phrasing. We demand more money. Not that, you know, you're going to send us $2,000, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll accept it. But I still demand more money from you. And so ultimately, how much money should Purple Power demand? And how much money do you think we can get these people to really feel as though they are not in a comfortable place. Well, I don't think they're going to send you $12,000 for six months that's been enduring this pandemic of $2,000 a month, which is what you're owed. I don't think they're going to pay you that. Would they pay you $4,000? Would they see that this $2,000 check or $1,200 check is a joke when they're giving Department of Treasury, you know, half a trillion dollars of raises and someone else half a trillion dollars of raises and another person half a trillion dollars of raises and you're getting you know can you see it I, I can't see it wait can you get my microphone my my magnifying glass i can't see my stimulus check here i mean if, if we're in that type of environment well hell yeah we're gonna ask for a lot more money then how about the deal provisions for the stimulus check? Well, it's likely not to be taken out for child support. It's likely not to be taken out um, for debt collections or, or taxes. Um, it's likely not to be watered down if you're a dependent. And it's likely to be a smaller check for children than adults. But other than that, everything else should go up, up, up. It's been six months, folks. Next, FPC. What's going to happen with FPUC and what are my predictions and what should we think as a Purple Power family about FPUC and where would it land? By all accounts, it appears that FPUC may have been resolved by these parties as well. They're not talking about it as holding up the negotiations. So with Nancy Pelosi at $600 a week, it's likely that Steve Mnuchin may have gone to $600 a week. The question is how many weeks and how retroactive. Ultimately, if Nancy Pelosi is not bringing you retroactive to late July, which is when FPC last expired, but is bringing you to September, well, she's costing you a whole month, the month of August. That's four weeks, $400 a week. Well, how much more is she getting you with the $600 a week versus what Steve Mnuchin, that's about $200 a week, presuming it's a $600 deal. Okay, so she's getting you $200 more a week, four weeks of the month, so she's getting about $800 more a, a month, and she cost you uh, a whole month of FPUC at $400 a week. So she cost you about $1,600, and she's giving you more than about $800. Either way, she's still costing you money. She's costing you money by having not taken Steve Mnuchin's deal, having not allowed FPC to expire. She's costing you money on the back end. The only way you would recoup this money if you're on FPC for a lot of months, and it's unclear how many months she's going to give you FPC. Bottom line is Purple Power retroactive to late July. What is, how is this late September thing, this mid-September? And then there's all my LWA viewers who never got um, that F LWA because um, of the $100 threshold. Then there's the issue of <clears throat> hazard pay. Uh, hazard pay is a whole reason to reject the deal offer. Why was hazard pay taken out? Hazard pay is not a lot of money. Don't take it out. Put it back in. Purple Power, are you going to accept something that doesn't have hazard pay? I know that hazard pay has been the single most important, uh, one of the most important videos of this channel since its, since its existence. And that's a lot of money that essential workers are owed and are not being paid.
Then there's EIDL grant and EIDL loan. And the language of the EIDL grant and the EIDL loan does not guarantee a $10,000 grant from Javier Carranza and does not guarantee um, there's no caps on EIDL loan. Then Nancy Pelosi is working on language that doesn't work. <laughs> Congratulations, Nancy. Your language is just uh, talk English. It doesn't work. So there may be a lot of stuff in this deal that may not be acceptable to the American people. You know, it's in times like this that there's a reason why I'm here. And ultimately, you see what I'm doing in this recording with Purple Power, which last night's video was, you know, really, really weird well watched, very, very well watched. You see what I'm doing here is I'm not just like reading the news article and saying, okay, a Nancy said on Fox News tonight that, oh, so you're getting a check. And then so-and-so said, see, I'm not doing that. What I'm saying to you is that as a citizen, you're entitled to a lot better treatment than how you're getting treated. And that you've seen the progress of Purple Power. Purple Power is what got the president at 1.5 and Steve Mnuchin at 1.5. He was at one. He was at one. They got you, we got Steve Mnuchin to go to 1.5. We got Steve Mnuchin to bring state and local to 300 million. I was saying that every single recording for two weeks. I said, Steve, go to 300. What are you doing at 100? That's ridiculous. Get up or 200. He was at. I said, get up. You need to be at 300. He's at 300. All these deal items came from my recordings and you're pushing with purple power. And so when we see these deal items that come out potentially in 48 hours from now, then there's no reason you have to accept it. Uh, purple power versus Mitch. Stay with me. There's 11 minute mark. Still got a lot coming up. Purple power versus Mitch and seats for stimulus and executive orders. Big stuff coming up still on this recording. Um, purple power versus Mitch. This is going to be a big push. If there is uh, a deal, and if you are, if we are actually happy with the deal items, which I don't think is going to happen, uh, and that it's then heading to Mitch's house, do we want Mitch to support it and put it for a vote or not put it for a vote? We'll have to cross that path when it happens. But ultimately, Mitch may not want to put it to a vote because he doesn't like the deal items. We may not want to put it to a vote because we don't like the deal items. Next, executive orders. I didn't talk enough about executive orders this afternoon, and I know a lot of people dropped in the comments, what happened to executive orders? Are they still an issue? Absolutely. You know, in a day in which there's so much to record, I always am guilty, feel guilty if I don't say something because then people say, oh, is it no longer an issue? No, no, no. It just, I couldn't get it in a 20-minute video. Executive orders still remains the focus of the purple power because all this junk that I'm talking about today with deal and then the deal's not good and then Mitch is causing a problem and then, you know, Mark Meadows is say all that junk is no longer an issue if the president just does executive orders. If you watch 28, which is really a hit show on this channel, you saw how bad the president is uh, it, 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 for campaign purposes right now. He's behind in all the polls. He's behind in all the swing, in virtually every single swing state with the exception of maybe two. He's running out of money for campaign donors. Campaign donors are not coming back like they were the last time. He has one third the amount of money in going to the final stretch that Joe Biden has and he's not getting enough money donated. He's really up against the wall and he needs to pull out an 11th hour miracle. And that miracle is executive orders. If there's ever a time for this president to understand that using chatter of what Steve and Nancy may achieve in the 48 hours from now is not an 11th hour success. It's just a day at the office. Uh, an 11th hour success is sending out the stimulus checks, sending out the FPC, sending it out and getting it in the air and go in the air, in the, in the mail, not the air, flying mail. Uh, just getting it in the mail and having it go out. That is a success story. Finally, seats for stimulus. Boy, this might be the most important thing of the day. Seats for stimulus. There's going to be all those congressional leaders, especially those Democrats in the House, to say, oh, we did such a great job. Uh, we did such a great job. We came up with a great stimulus package. We crushed the virus. And we did, uh, yeah, what did you get from me? Uh, just don't ask about yourself. It's just not always about you. Uh, I elected you to give help to me. Well, it's not about you. It's about it's about Gavin and Andrew and the states and the states. Well, how about me? Now, this, this, well, guess what? 
Caesar's telling us, you're God. <laughs> you're God. I asked you three times, what about me? Uh, well, maybe next time. No, you're God. Seats for stimulus is very important at this point because basically if these people gave you nothing and have given you just a horse and pony show for two weeks of saying, okay, we'll go back to the negotiating tables because the purple power and the problem solvers said go back to the negotiating table. Okay, we did and we have a nice deal, uh, but the deal's apparently you don't like it. Well, that's your problem. No, our problem is your, you. Seats for stimulus. See you, uh, see you on the unemployment line. Bye. Bye. Uh, that is really where the focus needs to be because ultimately if that's what happens, then seats for stimulus needs to be very loud and clear. Um, let me get to some incredible comments from last night. Christian, Trump's campaign is not out of is not only out of money. I doubt that Nancy will agree to a stimulus without getting her her way. <clears throat> um, Geraldine Klein, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sick and tired. The black man, all the choices of presidential candidates are horrible. Um, Faye Fraser, how many times will the poor American people have to deal with this? Sam Carson, we need two thousand dollars for six months. Susan Reynolds, the president runs the motto that he wants to make America great. Why isn't he helping the Americans right now? Diana, do you think they're just stringing us along? Yes. Uh, William Haberman, I believe that this is after this money. It's too many times we've heard this. It's very, this deal is very, very clear. Uh, but William's not believing Pelosi. Brian, that's why I've been saying for months. I wouldn't believe these politicians if I was soaking wet and they said it was raining. Um, Nona Berry, didn't Nancy and Steve say 48 hours a deal was going to be reached? Jeff Horton, they keep on promising a deal to ensure that Trump doesn't do an executive order. I love that comment. Great comment. Carol, no money to donate to anybody's campaign. Brian, they need another 48 hours, guys. The last five months wasn't quite enough time for them. Ooh, great comment from Brian. And Tonga, why does Trump, Trump done the sign an executive order? Belinda, Take her word like a grain of salt. No one else ever does. Travis, um, they still can't get nothing done for reals. Crooked as crooked can be. Angela, the person um, the person with the broken coffee maker, I would like to pitch in a little something to buy her. I, I asked her to DM me as well. I don't want to say it on camera because you saw me break down earlier. She, I was, it was her I was thinking of. Um, James Gordon, remember to sweep the Senate never again. Let me read Angela's comment in full. The person with the broken coffee maker, I would like to pitch in a little something to buy her one. I don't have much, but let's see if she, something to, uh, to smile about. Uh, Sophie, Ellie, tell us many politicians are now involved. Of course, they want to take credit for making it happen. Uh, oh, I love that. That is a good point. I never saw it that way. Great comment. Lori, I highly doubt it. <clears throat> Ronald, is there a way to reach McConnell Pelosi? They need to know how much I hate her, hate them. Hakati's daughter, um, feelings about time. Um, Tigerless, they cry wolf, wolf many times. Go to the front of the channel, subscribe. It's been an incredible day. And you see as the light dropping, um, I'm trying to get this done. And we are trying to get this done. Your stimulus. And also like this video. Coming up next is early mornings LA Late. As always, tune in for that exciting broadcast at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay at LA for more.